and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at the Realism VFX add-on. So this looks uh, really cool uh, from what I, saw, what I saw on the marketplace. Um, now, before I forget again real quick, uh, the I have a Minecraft, uh, you know, I have a Discord that's free to join, link in the description. On there you can join the realm and the, the, for the month of October, the realm will be horror themed and it's... Uh, uh, random seed with a bunch of, uh, well, all of the uh, horror like themed add ons. So, if you like horror, horror and all that fun stuff, go join. Check it out again. Link to the Discord is in the description. Do you need somewhere? So, yeah. Oh, and the world decided, nah, I don't want to load in. Well, uh, if I just look over here, then it, uh, nothing's different. Anyway, so we have Realism VS, a uh, guy. Oh, God damn it, there's another one of these. I don't like these books. Visual effects uh, enhance the world around you and to make the game more realistic than ever. Contents VS, VFX list, dynamic light, immersive sound, VFX settings, and summon VFX. So VFX list, so there's ambient stuff like falling leaves, snowflakes, fireflies, butterflies, flies, startled birds, cave dust, end glow, end dust, and desert dust. There's sky which is bed, smooth stars, meteor showers, rainbows, and northern lights. Whether we've got intense rain, blizzards, sandstorms, ground fog, and the divisible wind. We've got water effect of water splashes, swimming uh, trails, underwater bubbles, underwater god rays. Uh, then we've got others, which is sun lens flare, moon lens flare. Fancy explosions and tumbleweeds. You got dynamic light. Hold a torch or lantern in your hand to light up the area around you. Immersive sound, enhanced sound effects, and the uh, biome specific ambience makes the game feel more alive. Uh, VFX settings, so you can craft that with a redstone dust and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, use to toggle visual effects in the world that appear. Uh, summon VFX using the single use trigger items or place an emitter to make them persist in your world. And you. Oh, this is the same people that made. This is like the Sparks guy. They made Sparks Pets. I also. So, I don't know what else they made. So, if I right click with this. Uh, I can go in here and I can turn everything on and off. So sky, weather, water, and others. Mm, fancy explosion, stubble weed, I don't know. So there, yeah, let's do fan. Uh, so, uh, where's the sun? Oh, there you are. The sun's there. Yeah, yeah, we've got a lens flare looking at the sun. That's cool. And now if we set uh, time, set mid, midnight, it should also be, yep, yeah, you get a less intense moon lens flare. I mean, these don't quite make logical, oh, bids. Hello, can I kill you? No, they're just two debil guys. Uh, it doesn't make much sense because uh, you're playing as a person, not as a camera, so it doesn't make much sense for there to be a lens flare. Uh, let's go check out, let's go over here and we'll check out the water ones and the, the explo- and the new fancy explosions that they added. I should also eat a cat. Oh, hey, it's your first time this time. Hey, apparently the world's less laggy for now for some unknown reason. Weird. I did have to restart my computer recently, but I don't think, no. But it was still lagging in the last video, and I've not restarted my computer since the last video. So, yeah, water. 
There's water here. Let's go down. So if I jump into the water, get a splashing effect. And if I go F5, you can see there's a little trails following behind you as you swim. And the uh, bubbles. Oh, here's the god ways that they were talking about. So yeah, you can see the bubbles. Because you're losing bubbles underwater. But I got uh, water breathing, so it doesn't really matter. Then you've got the god rays, which is these beams of light uh, that you see in the water. I think I've got a texture of a pack on to make the water clear, so it's not as. Uh, so I think it might be, look a bit better without that on. Um, oh, yeah, and I think it also showed, like, even like the items themselves, uh, they. Uh, also like make the splashes so I've got some golden carrots let's test out of these yeah you can see all the you can see the carrots making the splooshes and the splashes and I do not want to be flying <laughs> no really no woofy woos come here no weapons. Mwah. Mwah. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're on to show off the TNT. So I'll give myself a TNT. Some TNT and a flint and steel. So give. Uh, I can't see the. At P. Flint. Flint and steel. TNT 64. Yes, sir. You can do. Alright, oh. So, we'll set off a single one first so we can get a good look at it. I don't really have to worry about damage because I'm immortal in this. Yeah, that does, that, it does look nicer than the regular explosion. Now, let's just set off a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, the butterfly. Oh, it's cute. Hello. Oh, it's gone. So if we set off a bunch of these, you get a bit, a bit of a better look. But yeah, it does look better than the vanilla, um, than the vanilla explosion effects. Right, so we did fancy explosion, we've done them. Uh don't right, so can I summon a tumbleweed? Some tum tumbleweed, yeah. So this is a tumbleweed, and I assume these will spawn in like desert biomes. And they'll just like be pushed around by the wind. Well actually. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to head back home. Uh, say so like a teleport command to teleport me home. And then what I'll do is... Uh, I'll see if I can find a desert. Because I don't know... don't exactly know where a desert is in this world. Uh, so I think that's a, I can just like locate biome. And that should tell me where the nearest desert is. So if I just do TP at P boom 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 that teleports me to that well where I was looking basically. Uh, oh more butterflies! Yeah, the stuff the cute air. Uh, so if I do locate biome des desert. So it's nearest desert block is uh, 1624, 
1385. 1385. There's the desert block is in water. Ah, yeah, here we go. Naturally spawn in tumbleweed. Uh, and you can see it's being pushed around by the wind. Ah, and it fell in the water and it got destroyed. The yeah, smallest desert ever. I think I've actually been here before. But yeah, you can see the wind is blowing. It's not a strong wind right now. So it, whatever. Clear, query, rain, and thunder. What's query? Whether it's... Oh, so that just tells you what weather you can me. So... What if I set the weather to rain? Does that change? Ah, yes, yeah, so if you set it to rain, in a desert it'll be a sandstorm. For some reason, I can still see the rain. And the tumbleweeds get pushed much faster. That's cool. I think I've probably seen rain because I'm like, right. Like, Next is water. It, so yeah, this area is rain, so that's probably why I can see rain. Because this is just like a very, very small desert biome. If we keep going over here, yeah, I've you can see that I'm not seeing the rain anymore because I'm not right next to that other biome. And this is actually a really cool effect. So what? So it's tumbleweed. Dynamic light, immersive sound. So I'm not exactly sure what immersive sound means. Let's head home and I'll show off the dynamic light. So I need to take my arm off because it's giving me night vision. EFF effect. Clear. That's P. Clear. So... If I go somewhere that's a bit dark... There you go. This area is a bit dark. And I hold this torch. You can see that uh, light... Uh, there's dynamic light. Just really cool because there are like... Entire add-ons whose entire thing is just like adding dynamic light. So if you're thinking about getting one of them, you might as well just get this. And then you also have all the different added effects that look cool. Uh, but this doesn't work if the torch gets wet by the looks of it, which is a cool feature. But I want to see if I give myself a lantern. Give at the lantern. So does this also not work on the water, or does this work on the water? Okay, it does work on the water by the looks of it. So let's just double check, there's a big body of water here. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't think it works underwater. I don't know, it should be hard to tell. But yeah, cool. Like I said, uh, there's entire add-ons dedicated to adding that one feature, so basically, so... It's not... See, it's a good thing to have. Oh! <laughs> Forgot there's a, uh, whatchamacallit, item frame there. Uh, double check we did all the water splashing, swimming trails on the water, guard rays on the water bubbles, raindrop. Oh! They do raindrop ripples. Okay, let's go over there and, uh, let's get back over there and do the raindrop dripples. Have I gone, I've gone in the wrong direction. Oh well, I'm sure there's an ocean in this direction somewhere. Yeah, ocean. So where what ah uh, uh, weather rain So 
So if we come down here. Oh yeah, you can see that there are like little raindrop ripples. That's nice. Alright, let's keep you here. Next up, let's do weather. So we've got intense rain, which I don't really know what that means. So uh, if I go to game mode one, they did add items. So if I go here, I go in 10. What if I just put in rain? There's rainbow emitter and rainbow trigger rainbow. There's no intense rain. Oh, that's uh, annoying. So I'm not quite sure what intense rain means. There's blizzards. So I assume that means that if you're in a snowy area, uh, instead of raining, it'll be snowing a bit. Actually, it's... Also, what was that beding? What if I do thunderstorms? Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. If it's thundering, then you'll have uh, uh, blizzards in uh, the in snowy biomes. That's cool. I don't know what it's talking about with intense rain. Oh wait! Yeah, so if it's thundering, there's these new particles. I don't know exactly what this means, but it does look cool. And does make it feel a bit more intense, I guess, so. Uh, let's see, ground fog. I don't know how, how to get that, and visible wind. So then we're just going to have to take the game's word, the uh, dev's word for it. Where we're clear. Then the sky, so there's birds of which we've seen. We've not seen, seen shooting stars. It is nighttime. So can I get shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, here we go. So trigger shooting star. Uh, this time set mid midnight. So it's midnight. Uh, let's take the armor off. So I don't have night vision, so it might look a bit better. Wait for the effects to wear off. There we go. And trigger shooting star. Oh! Saw one. Uh, so here we go. Got a couple there. And if I just spam, I can get yeah, you get a bunch of them. So I'm just gonna creep, keep spamming, there. and yeah, a bunch of shooting stars. Uh, if I go to game mode zero, I think this is game mode zero. Oh, so it's not a one-time use thing. You can just keep using it to get uh, more and more. So, how do you craft this? So, shoot. So, to make the trigger for the shooting sty, it's a lever and a glowstone dust. Quite cheap. And to make the emitter, it's a redstone block and glowstone dust. Uh, so, if I go to uh, get the uh, this one, the shooting star emitter. So this one's more expensive. Do I just place it down? Yeah, you place it down. And is it just constantly emitting shooting stars? Oh yeah, there they are. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is constantly just emitting shooting stars, and you can. Smash it and you get it back. Uh, 
Uh, sky, so there's meteor showers. Ma-e-a-ta. Shower. There we go. Ma-e-ta or eel. Uh. So. Ah, oh, that one's like 64, so. Another one. Yeah, you can see this triggers a meteor shower, which is basically just a bunch of the uh, shooting stars. And apparently, you can yeah can get up to a stack of these. So I wonder if you just like spam a bunch of them. Yeah, so it'll just like trigger a bunch of them. Yeah, that looks cool. I do I do like these uh, effects that they added. They are quite cool. Let's go see how do you craft them. You craft these but with a lever and blaze powder and this one with a blade block of redstone and blaze powder. So I assume they're all gonna be basically just like a lever and something else and then a block of redstone and something else. Next up is rainbows. So already now we can get these. What? Ah, uh, no. So trigger emitter. So time set day. So trigger rainbow. Oh, there you go, you can see rainbow over there. Very nice. And then... Place a bunch of these. Will they trigger like a bunch of rainbows? Oh! <laughs> no, so I think the rainbow... By the looks of it, the rainbows always appear in the same place. Yeah, but they like... Uh, if you stack a bunch up, it... They become like... A, it becomes like a darker colour. I think, we, so I think they always like spawn that far away from it. I love these butterflies everywhere, they're cute. Oh no, why, why are they not triggering out? Oh. oh, there we go. They made a new one. Uh, let's go see how you craft these. Yeah. Oh, you can craft trigger rain as well. Uh, so there's an ink second redstone block and a lever or a lever. And for trigger rain, there's a water bucket and a lever. So that's pretty cool. If you want to trigger the rain, you can use a water bucket. Uh, but yeah, what's up next? Next up is the Northern Lights. North. So let's set time tonight again. Midnight. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And it was definitely a good idea saying it tonight uh, when using this because it uh, sticks out and be against the black sky a lot better than it would have during the daytime. Yeah, that's cool. Probably a little bit messed up because this base is, my base is at Y92, which is quite high. Bearing in mind, like, um, C level is about Y64. So let's go over here and trigger it over here. It doesn't need, don't need to trigger over here. So yeah, as you can see, if you're like at C level, it's much like higher up in the sky. 
Just in the mountains it doesn't work quite as well. Yeah, that's a cool effect. Let's uh, we'll go check out how you craft that. So you craft it, for, craft them with oh, an echo shard like. So far they've been good because for the most because they've not really been you know super expensive or too hard to get for what they do, but having to get an echo shard for a visual effect I do not like. Like if you want it to be more expensive, what you could do is just like have it be the redstone block or a lever where and then have the rest be like multicolored glass or something. I think that would be better, but I, I, I don't really like, uh, I don't like that crafting recipe, I have to say. That is a bit too expensive for my taste. So yeah, we've done all of the skies, and then it's just got ambient like falling leaves, snowflakes, fireflies, butterflies, flies. So I can't show all these off. Let's see if I can show off the falling leaves. So let's say today I'm going to find the, go to the forest. We'll go to the forest and see if we can see the fallen leaves. Oh yeah! Yeah, you can see them. It's not too strong effect. It's just like the old... You just like notice a leaf every now and then. Oh. Yeah, they also fall on the ground and stay on the ground for a little bit. Yeah, so that's cool. It would also be cool if you could like uh, punch them or right click them to collect them and then you get a single leaf and they could like craft nine leaves into a leaf block. That would be a like alternate way of getting leaf blocks rather than having to get a shears or silk touch. Oh. Yeah, what else could we do? So we've seen fallen leaves. Snow fake, so we can check that out in the uh, snowy area over here. So we're looking for snow flakes. I don't see any snow flakes. Hmm. Not quite, not quite exactly sure what it means by snow flakes because I'm in the call and they call. Oh, ah, wait. I think I just noticed them. Yet. Yeah. Ah, so I think if there's snow on leaves, then uh, you get these little snowflake particles under the trees. So I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. Oh, there's a snowflake there. Oh. I don't know, I think it was just like the occasional snowflake and cold biomes. I think there's, there is also just like more of them underneath the trees. Well, that could just be a vanilla thing. I'm not quite sure. I've never really paid too much attention to that. Yeah, I have seen a couple of snowflakes in the cold biome, but it's not super noticeable, so... Uh... You could be forgiven for not noticing it. What else is there? Uh, so we've seen butterflies. I don't know where we'd see fireflies. Like maybe in the in a swamp biome, but I don't think there's a swamp biome anywhere near here. Uh, but I have. They did show it off in the in the like marketplace thing, and it's just like a couple of pixels. 
Do you really care about that? You can check it out yourself. The place. Start. Start all the bids. Now, I don't know about startled bids. Can I do anything about bids? There we go. Trigger bids. Trigger startled bids. Here we go. Ah, yeah, so you'll just hear like bid, the wings flapping, and then the bears tweeting. So I don't know how you would trigger this naturally. Maybe you just sort of be like walking through the forest or something, and then randomly they'll be like, you'll hear it. Fair enough. Maybe? I don't know. Be nice if they gave you more in information on how they triggered. There's cave dust, so let's go find the key. Well, I don't need to find the key, there's a cave right under my base. I may have died in a few times and when I was playing this in survival. So, down, down another level. So, cave dust. I don't see, oh wait, yeah, there's a speck there, and there. Yeah, so there's little specks of cave dust, which is cool. I. Just to make him a bit more ambient. Ambient. Yeah. Uh, next thing. Ambient. So there's end glow and end dust. So let's go to the end and check this out. I have the port a portal behind my storage area. There we go. There we go over here. Ah! Oh, that is cool. So you can see here, off in the distance, there is a purple end glow. That is nice. Oh, and you can see like the little, these little purple specks of dust here. Okay, yeah, this does look a lot nicer, in my opinion. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, and I think that's, that's the last of it, wasn't it? Uh, and, oh yeah, desert dust, but we've already been to the desert and we saw the dust. Particles and all that. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, this is a really cool add-on. I really like it. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. I think it was... I, I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was actually quite cheap patch as well. As well, so yeah. I would highly recommend this. It, this is like perfect for just like if you for a mostly vanilla experience with just like a few tweaks to make the Minecraft world feel more alive and uh, stuff. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Oh, the, it's so laggy I can't even pick up the book. There we go. I don't know what's going on with the lag. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and I forgot to go to full screen, sorry about that, bye bye!